In this video, we are going to see about the RV32i based integer architecture. In the previous video, we have discussed about the types of instruction and the number of instruction we have uh, implemented in this uh, project. And now, let us uh, go into the architecture. Now, the architecture consists of uh, five stages. First one is fetch, next one is uh, decoding, and uh, third one is memory uh, execution or effective address calculation, and fourth one is memory access and a fifth one is write back into this uh, register file since it is a uh, risk architecture we have dedicated hardware which will be generating the uh, the control uh, signals uh, based on the opcode and the function based on the opcode and the function field and uh, since it is a uh, risk architecture it can directly operate on the operand which are residing in this data memory so by using load and store instructions uh, we need to uh, make this operand available in the register field so that we can uh, execute on we can process uh, those operands now let us see the purpose of each and every module in this architecture program counter which will be pointing uh, to the next instruction in the instruction memory here you can see that uh, uh, we have separate instruction memory and data memory which means the architecture is following hardware architecture and why it is incremented by 4 means uh, this instruction memory uh, holds only one byte in uh, uh, one location since the instruction length is of 32 bit we need uh, 30, uh, 4 locations uh, to store one instruction so uh, so that only we are incrementing the program counter by 4 and here you can see that there is no dedicated uh, decoding unit why because means each and e, uh, each instruction is fitted into fixed field so by connecting those field into the corresponding port uh, simply uh, a decoding will happen so we have we don't have a separate uh, decoding unit in this architecture and uh, let us see the purpose of this mux in case of uh, odd or type instruction we need to uh, operate on the operands which are stored in the uh, register files so uh, we need to operate on to register operands so in case of auto odd uh, instruction this rd2 will be selected and it will be given to this al unit and in case of immediate type instruction we need to select the immediate line this line this line will be selected in case of uh, immediate type instruction and in case of load instruction also this immediate line will be uh, selected imml will be selected and it will be given to this uh, alu unit and in case of load and store instruction uh, uh, indexed addressing mode is used uh, which means the content in the register file will be added with this uh, immediate value and it will be acting as a uh, the effective address which will be acting at a, as address line uh, for this uh, data memory and uh, why is in case of stored instruction we will be you we will be selecting this imms line why we have separate lines for uh, load and stored instruction means in case of load instruction we will be selecting this line in case of stored instruction we will be selecting uh, this line why uh, it is so means here you can see that in case of load and store the immediate value the immediate field is not fixed in case of load uh, we are having the immediate value uh, in this column and in case of store we are having the immediate value in these fields so we have uh, used uh, two lines imml line for load and imms line for store and uh, the reason for using this max is in case of auto or we need to directly select this alu output and uh, 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 it, it is given uh, to this register file and in case of load we need to load the uh, operand uh, from the we need to select the operand from the data memory and we need to load into the register so in case of load uh, this line will be selected and in case of uh, uh, jump instruction which we have not uh, implemented in this project uh, why because means we found that uh, those 27 instruction which we have designed for is sufficient to write uh, any program so uh, we didn't uh, execute the jump instruction uh, in this project in case of jump uh, jump instruction this program counter this, this pc value will be selected and uh, the purpose of this multiplexer is so before that uh, uh, let us see the uh, the branch instruction uh, so the ALU consists of uh, two modules ALU and ALU branch uh, in case of uh, addition uh, subtraction exodus arithmetic operations this uh, ALU will be 
performing those operations and in case of a uh, branch type instruction alu br will be uh, uh, performing uh, uh, the operation and uh, yeah, we have separate uh, control lines uh, for that uh, we have various branch instruction branch equal to branch not equal to branch uh, less than branch greater than so uh, based on this uh, branch uh, uh, function based on this field uh, these instructions uh, will be uh, performed so one when we need to when the when we need to branch from one location to another location means uh, when we need to branch this branch line will go to high so when this branch line go to high uh, the program counter value will be added with this immediate value and it is given uh, to this uh, line and uh, pcesl pcsel will select this line and it will be uh, the content the address will be loaded into this uh, program counter so this is the purpose of this when we need to branch the program counter will be a uh, value will be added with this immb and it will be given to this max and pcsel will selecting this and uh, the program counter will be loaded uh, uh, to the new uh, address so uh, this is all about uh, uh, this architecture in the next video uh, uh, we will be discussing about the, the program to uh, calculate the sum of uh, uh, first n natural numbers thank you